Hi guys, it's Kat, and as you can tell by my blue eyes, today we're gonna do a character with wings of Tinkerbell from Disney's Peter Pan. I thought I would continue with the Peter Pan series. If you haven't heard of Peter Pan, girl, where have you been? What rock do you live under? If you didn't know, Tinkerbell is a fairy who gives people the ability to fly with their pixie dust in the movie Peter Pan. And do a two-part makeup today. First, we're gonna do Tinkerbell, the original one, with her cute, sassy blonde bun. Her big blue eyes and pouty red lips. And then we're gonna do a second part where she gets really angry in the movie. She has the ability to catch like leaves on fire and her skin gets super red. So stay tuned for that and let's get started with the makeup transformation. First I'm gonna put this blonde wig cap on because we are gonna wear a blonde wig later. And now it is time to delete them eyebrows and flatten them down with some glue stick. And then layers of translucent powder. If you've been watching my YouTube videos for a while, this is how I flatten my eyebrows down just temporarily because we're gonna paint on Tinkerbell's very thin high arched brows later. And now it is time to get some makeup primer. As you can see, I have some glue sticks stuck on my wrist, but I'm putting that makeup primer everywhere that we are gonna put on foundation later. And if you didn't know, I am not naked. I am wearing a tube top for this. And if you notice some slight rashes on my armpits throughout the video, I hope it doesn't gross you out. I have allergic reactions to different soaps. I'm doing another layer of glue and powder on my eyebrows because we really want to make sure it's really flat. So I did about four layers of glue and powder and let that completely dry before getting our orange concealer corrector. This is totally optional, but I am going to delete the blueness, my under eye, big dark circles, bags them luxury bags under your eyes. I have a lot of those, so I'm trying to conceal them. And this is also optional, but I'm getting some green concealer to cancel out all of the acne that I have on the sides of my face. I do have some slight acne and redness around my nose and certain areas around my face, so I'm just putting that there and blending it out. And I'm gonna take that orange concealer corrector again and put that on my eyebrows to cancel out my dark brow hairs. If you do not have dark brow hairs, you probably don't have to do this. But now it is time for our foundation. I'm just using the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous 3-in-1 foundation because it has been my favorite lately with a Sigma 3D H3 Blender Beauty Sponge. It is my favorite beauty sponge of all time. It's even my favorite compared to the Beauty Blender. They sell out super quick. It's around $12 and no, this is not sponsored. I just absolutely love this sponge. You wanna make sure you get that foundation all across your face and on your neck. I left the orange concealer corrector being shown because we're gonna put some concealer on there next. This is the NYX HD concealer and it dries pretty fast. That's why I'm doing one side of my eye before doing the next. And I'm also putting that on my eyebrows and blending it out with the beauty sponge. Even though this concealer dries pretty fast, it works amazingly and it's only $5, and I love putting it around my nose for redness and different areas on my face to correct certain acne spots. And then I'm gonna powder my entire face before laying on some blush. I absolutely love Tarte blushes, and I really want to make my cheeks pigmented and pink, and I put a little bit of that blush on my nose as well. Now it's time to draw on them eyebrows. I got my favorite angle brush for eyebrows, with some cream light brown color. Any eyebrow product would work perfectly. I just use some brown cream paint and start making them arched eyebrows. You really wanna look at pictures of Tinkerbell to see what her eyebrows and how we're gonna style her hair later and what she looks like. But once you have those eyebrows painted on in the shape, we are gonna powder them down with translucent powder. And this part's a little extra, but I got a brow pencil just to draw on some brow hairs over that flat sharpied on brown eyebrow because I want them to look semi-real and not just painted on like that part in Disney with Mulan, you know what I mean? And once you're done with that, I'm gonna get some contour powder. Contour in the bottom of my chin and around my temples and certain parts of my forehead and of course, them cheekbones. And then I'm gonna contour around the bridge of my nose because Tink's nose is a little bit smaller looking than mine is. Contouring the sockets of my eyes as well and now I'm getting a very light highlighting powder with that beauty sponge and tapping it on my under eyes. This is an extra step, but I really like to have that area highlighted to make the sinkage and baggage in my eye not look so deep and dark. 
Now, I'm getting my Beverly Hills Ofra highlighter. I love the yellow tone highlighter in this. I'm highlighting my brow bone, the inner corner of my eye, and of course my cheekbones. I'm also highlighting the bridge of my nose and my forehead. Next, I'm getting some glitter adhesive and putting that on the inner corner of my eye because we're gonna be very fabulous and put some cosmetic gray glitter on the inner corner of my eye just to resemble some particles of pixie dust on the inner corner and outer corner of the eye. Now it is time to get my favorite terracotta matte eyeshadow from my Morphe N35 Neutrals palette and put that on as a light dusting all over my eyelid. Now getting a matte neutral brown eyeshadow from this palette and contouring the outer upper corner of my eye and the bottom lash line as well. This is gonna give our eyes more definition just to make those blue circle lenses pop. Now it's time to get our black liquid liner. Any eyeliner will work great. You just wanna do a very small cat eye with this liner just to give her some definition and lash thickness. And once you're done with that, we're gonna curl our lashes to prep them for some falsies before putting on some mascara. You wanna put this mascara on the upper and definitely the bottom lash line. I'm just getting more brown matte eyeshadow to put that on the lower lash line as well before putting on some false eyelashes. These are just more natural eyelashes by Red Cherry. Then I'm gonna get my favorite matte bold red liquid lipstick by Sephora in 01 Red. This is the perfect cartoon comic book red color. It is one of my all time favorite matte red lipsticks and is perfect for Tinkerbell. I'm also highlighting the little cupid's bow above my lips and I'm putting a little bit of that highlighting powder that we use on our face on my bottom lip as well. Now it is time to put on Tinkerbell's wig. I got this wig off of Amazon, but any blonde wig with a bun will work. And then I'm getting Tinkerbell's wings. I love the iridescentness of these wings. I got them at a local all year round Halloween store. And with that, we are completely done with our Tinkerbell makeup transformation from Disney's Peter Pan. She's just so cute and adorable. I feel like she looks like a modern day girl with the top knot bun. She just needs a crop top and some shorts, but I love fairies in general. Stay tuned to the second part of this Tinkerbell makeup transformation where I'm gonna make her angry and have flames come out of her hand, literally. It's gonna be cool. I hope you guys enjoy it. For the second part of this makeup, we are gonna need some red or orange tone matte eyeshadow. I'm getting this orange tone matte eyeshadow from my Visart palette because it's that perfect sunburnt orangey red and I'm getting a fluffy makeup brush to put that all over my face. All the areas where you put on foundation before on Tink's face, everywhere where you see she has skin tone. This is gonna make it look like she's sunburned, but she's actually just so enraged that her skin is getting bright red, like a light bulb. And she's probably just as small as Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer's nose, so this totally will work. And she's so angry that little bits of her hair are turning like flaming red when she gets jealous of Wendy because Peter Pan's giving Wendy more attention than her. So I sprayed some of my hair with red and I'm even putting some of that red eyeshadow on my hands as well. Like I said, every portion of her body and this is totally extra, but I got some cream paint in orange and I'm starting to paint some flames onto my hand. And you're gonna put some yellow cream paint as well. Look at pictures of flames to really make this look like a flame fireball from your hand, which is really hard with cream paint. You can also put some red in there as well, some black for some smokiness and more yellows. And you could be totally done with your angry Tinkerbell makeup, but I went a little further, especially if you're doing video effects with this. I had flames actually coming from Tinkerbell's hand with some video editing, which is cool. And with that, we're completely done with our angry Tinkerbell from Disney's Peter Pan. When she's super jealous of Wendy getting more attention than her from Peter Pan, her whole body gets bright red like a light bulb and she shoots through leaves, causing little bits of flames and fire. I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup transformation. This was so much fun to do and teaching myself new skills with some video editing just a little bit. I'm not saying I'm an excellent video editor, but this was just so much fun to make. And now it's time to transform back into a human from this cute fairy, Miss Tinkerbell. Thank you guys so much for watching this and hanging out with me. All the products I use in this video will be listed down below in the description box as always. 
If you guys do this makeup or any makeup from my YouTube channel, please tag me on Instagram, hashtag catsketch so I can see your video and post it myself and make comments and like it and love it. You guys inspire me so much as much as you say I inspire you all. I hope you guys had fun watching this because I have so much fun making these for you guys. You can subscribe for more videos in the future. And I will see you guys in another video. Love you all. Bye.